How's it going everybody? So today we are playing some more of Rust and I'll be showing you how you can build a really, really solid scouting tower for your base. Towers are very useful and everyone loves them. You get to a high point where you can look over the landscape, snipe any raiders coming to raid your base, and it's just really, really helpful. The problem with towers is that they seem to be fairly weak. If a clan takes some rockets and starts blowing away at pieces of a tower, it could fall pretty damn easily. The goal behind this tower is to make it as compact as possible while making it quite hard to blow apart and crumble the whole entire thing. This is the floor plan of the tower. Now it's kind of in a way where you can place a lot of walls in such a small space by kind of glitching out the triangle foundations. This floor plan has actually been around for quite some time now. I'm not exactly sure who discovered it. It might have been KC Mo, it might have been someone else. But this is what we're using for our tower today. Triangle foundations built in this pattern shown below is actually a lot more protective than a 2x2 and even a 3x3 square foundations. Now I'll show you how to build this layout of your foundations and how to kind of glitch them into each other and leave this gap surrounding this core triangle piece. I'll show you how to build that in just a moment, but I will go through the tower first and take you through a tour of how that works. You can actually get up and down this tower quite easily as we're using ladders on the inside. Now this is actually quite helpful because if raiders blow into the bottom, there's only one way to the top and it's through these ladders. So if they blow them out, they're gonna have to find the tool cabinet somewhere, and even if they do try to climb these ladders, you can easily just shoot down on them, and there's nothing they can do. Now there's three different ways I have set this up so you can defend your base from the outside if raiders are coming up to your base, or if you just wanna snipe some Newmans way beyond in the distance. For long range shots, we have these windows that stick out. Here you can get a great view over the landscape all around your base. Now that's for long distance. If people are closing in on your base, this these doors right here are great for medium to long distances as there's a slit in the bottom here where you can look down if anyone's coming up and you have these low walls to kind of protect you, give you some cover if anyone is closing in. But this is pretty damn good if people are getting close to your base and you need to shoot them dead. And you have two different doorways so you can kind of confuse anyone on the other side trying to snipe back at you. You can close one, use it as cover, you know. But let's say they made it past that. They are now hugging the base of your tower. Well, you have three of these ladder hatches all around your base where you can open them up and look straight down towards the bottom of your tower. You can look all along that wall, that side of the wall, and even your front door. So if raiders are C4ing in, or just some naked Newman that won't stop knocking, just put them dead. I also set up signs so you know which direction you are kind of facing in your base. I put a front sign here so you know that the front door is right here in case if raiders are, you know, at your front door you know where it is. And that is pretty much it for the three different ways you can look out and kill people. I like the design of this tower because it gives you cover all around your tower. It gives you plenty of opportunities to kill anyone on the outside and also confuses anyone who's trying to snipe in at you because they have no idea which window or doorway you're going to pop out of next. This was to show off how offensive and defensive this tower can be. But now I'm going to show off how well it's going to compare against rockets. Because that's the whole design of this tower. In order to make this triangle foundation layout right here, all you have to do is find somewhat of a flat area. It doesn't even have to be too flat. And just place down a triangle foundation jump on it and then you want to place a square foundation all around it actually two square foundations after that's done destroy the square foundation closest to the triangle foundation and then you need to pull out triangle foundations place them on the square foundation away from your core triangle foundation and once all of those are now placed just like so you can now place more triangle foundations attached to the ones uh, away 
from the core one here. As you can see, it goes into another foundation just a little bit, slightly, but that's okay. Just keep doing that all the way around, and you are now pretty much done. Just destroy the remaining square foundations. Triangle foundations are really useful because you can place a lot of walls in such a tight space. But because we did that square foundation, triangle foundation trick, there is a little slit not touching this core triangle piece. That allows us to place two walls in a very tight space. We're almost right inside of each other, but not quite. There's still a little slit down the middle. Now what you want to do is you want to pick a spot for your doorway. I suggest double doors. If you are a big clan that can even afford the resources for this tower, you could probably afford double doors at this point in time anyways. Now you can wall off the rest of your triangle foundation. Like I said before, the whole point of this tower is to honeycomb the hell out of it. So now we're pretty much going to place a wall on every slot possible. As you can see, we put two walls in the middle there and then to seal it off we put two more and then we can place one more on that middle triangle foundation just barely away from it do the same thing with the other side and now you want to hold off where your doorway is now you want to place down your other doorway entry pieces I suggest not putting a doorway on this side of the triangle foundation right here as when you place a doorway there it becomes too cramped to even enter this spot now. Now you just want a wall in right there, put another wall right there, flip it around and there you go. You now have your entrance to the core of your tower. Now you can upgrade it to either stone, sheet metal or even armored, whatever resources you have plenty of as since this is honeycombed it's going to cost a lot of resources but it's going to be really sturdy and it will hold up against a rocket attack we now have the first layer of this base done you can add as many layers as you want make the tower as high as you want i'm not exactly sure how many layers that tower is it's two three four five six seven eight nine it's like ten layers minus the roof pieces so you can make it a little bit higher than that, but if you do, you might run into a stability problem. So keep that in mind. But we're going to make this tower right here five layers tall. So let's get to it. All you need to do now is to copy what you did on the first floor on the remaining floors above, minus the door pieces. Now I said you don't want to put a doorway right here as it would cramp this entryway but you do want to put a frame here at least without the door so you can place walls on top of it. One thing that I did not do in the main tower is I did not add triangle floor pieces on every single level. Now you can add these if you want to for extra protection so they can't just shoot rockets going all the way up to the top of the tower but I did not just so I can save a little bit of resources. Since you're going to be using wooden ladders to get to the top of your towers anyways, I suggest placing them as you go along building the layers, just to make it easier to get back to the top if you fall. We have built four layers of this tower. I'm now going to build the lookout layer, you know, with all the windows, doorways, and ladder hatches. You just need to add triangle floor pieces all the way around. And then you want to add floor frames on the sides that only have one wall length to it. And now we're going to be adding floor triangles to the outsides on the sides that have two walls running along it. And now what you want to do is you want to add doorways on the pieces that have the triangle pieces sticking outside. Add windows all along the floor hatches. Add floor hatches to all of the floor frames. Add window shutters to all of the windows. Low walls to the outside triangle pieces if you want them for, you know, extra protection. And now add doors to the doorways. In the last step, just for looks, add door frames to all of the ladder hatches. And now you can place a floor above it. 
and this will allow you to place roof pieces all the way along the inside of your tower. And there you have it, we are now done with that. Just upgrade it to whatever material you like, and the tower is pretty much done. One little bonus that I didn't show off while I was giving you a tour of my original tower is that I did not show you how you can quickly get down. Instead of climbing the ladders all the way down, you can hug the side that doesn't have ladders and kind of just free fall till you get close to the bottom, go forward in the air and grab onto the ladder right before you hit the bottom and kill yourself. When you're building your bottom layout, put the tool cabinet in one of the random triangle honeycombs. That way the raider might find it off the bat, but they also might never find it. And like any base, make sure you add one by ones with tool cabinets all around your tower, just to make sure no one could raid tower in at all. And there you have it guys, that is how you build the offensive tower in Rust. It has a lot of different choices to kill raiders or anyone out beyond trying to snipe at you, and it can also take quite the hit from rockets. Now I'm not entirely sure how many resources that this base costs. It can be made out of stone, sheet metal, armored, use whatever you can to build it up. I did not keep track while I was building this, but just know it's going to take quite a bit of resources since there's so many walls and honeycombs inside of it. So this awesome tower is mainly focused for somewhat large groups that need a tower to look over their compound, look over their base. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Remember to have a fantastic day. I'm that will, and I will see you guys all later.